Hello everybody, Windows 11 is finally available. I like trying out the newest stuff, so I'm going to update my Dell G15 gaming laptop. So here I am in Windows Update, and as you can see there's an update, but it's not for Windows 11. So how do we get the new update? Turns out Microsoft will be updating supported devices in Waves, but there is a way around that. Here's the Windows 11 update website where you can download the Installation Assistant, another app to create installation media, as well as the disk image ISO. The Installation Assistant is what you want to do an upgrade from Windows 10, so I'll download that. I'll also be doing a clean install after the upgrade because I love the feel of a snappy new Windows installation. For that I'll get the Media Creation tool. The upgrade to Windows 11 is pretty straightforward. Just run the Installation Assistant, which we downloaded from the Windows 11 Update website. This will prompt you to get the Health Check app, which verifies if your PC can install Windows 11. Just download and install the app. Click check now, and you can see the results of the test here too. Once that's done, we can go back to the installation assistant and hit refresh, which should continue with the installation. Now we wait. It'll prompt us to restart with a countdown timer, in which case Windows 11 will continue to install outside of Windows. Well, theoretically that is supposed to happen, and hopefully your installation will just continue. Instead for me though, once it rebooted, the installation aborted and kicked me back into Windows 10. So I found out that if this happens, you have to do a reset in Windows 10 before applying the Windows 11 update. I chose to do the reset while keeping all my files, but this will uninstall all your apps that you installed. Apparently some program or apps may be causing problems with Windows 11 installing. It's a pretty time consuming fix, but it did work. I was going to do a fresh install afterwards anyways, and I didn't mind, but if you don't want to take the time to install all your apps again, you may want to wait until this problem has been fixed by Microsoft. So after that, everything went well, and here I am in Windows 11. New start menu and all. Here's a list of all the apps that were uninstalled by the reset on my laptop. At least this gives me a bit more incentive to do the clean install, so let's get to that part of the video. To do a clean install, you'll need one 8GB or larger USB flash drive, but preferably two drives to have one as a backup. It might save you from a problem that I had later on. Plug in the drive and run the media creation tool that was downloaded from the Windows 11 update website. Go through the prompts and wait while it creates a boot drive out of the USB flash drive. Now that it's done, I highly recommend you make another one if you have an extra flash drive by running the app again. There's two ways to boot into the flash drive. One is to enter the BIOS and change the boot order. On my Dell, it's the F2 key after booting to enter the BIOS, but your device will probably be different. This way means you'll have to go back into the BIOS again after installation is complete to change the boot order back to the way it was. Another way, which is the easier way, is to get into the boot options menu. This is F12 on my Dell after startup, but again can be different on your system and some systems might not even have this option. In the boot options, just choose your USB drive and the Windows 11 installer will run off of it.
Since this is a clean install, I'm going to delete all the partitions on my drive. So I'll choose custom install. Here's the screen with all the different partitions on my two drives. I'm going to delete all the partitions on both drives since I want them both clean, but you only need to do this with the main Windows drive. This will essentially destroy all the data on your drive, so be careful which partitions you're deleting. After that, choose the drive you want Windows on and hit next. Wait for the install and hopefully yours will finish with no problem. I did have a problem though where it froze at 58%. So after some troubleshooting, I figured out it was my USB flash drive. I had to make a second one using a different flash drive on another computer and restart the boot process again. If I didn't have a second computer or a second flash drive, I could have been stuck at this point. So it's good to have a backup made if you have the extra drive. Well, the second flash drive worked for me. After that, you'll be greeted to the Windows setup process. There'll be a lot of drivers to install, but on my G15, the only driver I needed to find outside of the Windows Update program was the audio driver from the Dell website. Pretty painless process for the fresh install. Well, that's all I have for this video. Until next time, thanks.